Hi, this is Zach Pfeffer, here again with the NI power measurement system we're building for Lenaro. Here you can see what is pretty much the final uh, version of this. Uh, I've added an ability to start and stop measurements, to upload measurements, capture measurements, and um, everything of course is uh, controllable over an IP socket. So here we're kind of in the middle of a measurement. So again, when we come over here, we can see if you type S, that'll start the measurement. When we type E, that'll end the measurement. So let's go over here, let's get another session going. So what we'll do is we'll go up here, we'll click on our run instrument, come back down here, and we'll connect to our IP socket. Real easy to do. See if I can get my thing to, so anyway. What you can see here then is now we're connected. We're gonna turn the instrument on, so we'll push one. That'll actually turn the instrument on. So you can see this panda's booting up here. And uh, I'll power on the monitor here real quick. You can actually see things booting up. There we go. Not only did it take just a second. So now everything's booted up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say R, and that's going to start the recording. What that does is it clears out the last record and puts in a new record. The idea is that all of the runs actually get concatenated together, and I'll show you that in just a second. So now we start the measurement. And if we go over here, we can see the measurement running. And then we're going to type E and the measurement. Then you can see we've ended the measurement. We can start it again. Type E again. Start it again. Type E. And you can see we've taken us actually a couple of seconds worth of, worth of data. Now if we scroll down here, you can actually see the data. So what I've done is I've created this little, simple little report format. It has this readings file, text file. Here, has all the readings. So you've got everything you can see on the screen. And then uh, at the end, I've actually have the record number. Now what that allows you to do is that actually allows you to correlate that with the image that gets taken. So that was the first read, so nothing nothing too exciting there. So we'll go back, we'll look at the first. And there you can see, there's our measurement. So pretty cool. And of course that can get pushed to a web page and, and things like that. So you not only have the, the, what you, uh, the, complete data but you have a graph of it as well so the system's kind of pretty flexible um, as you're working with it you can come back in here now we're kind of in the middle of a run so you know you can type zero turn the instrument off or turn the board off type one that'll boot stuff up again so here we see there's the lights coming on we should see Android booting up here. There we go. Now we can come back in here. Now notice I won't type R, which means that we'll be using the existing uh, files that exist. So we'll just come on in here and we'll say, um, we'll say start a measurement, S. 
And we'll just go back over here. You can see the measurements running. We'll type E, S, E. Now we go back into our file. And you can see we have two new measurements, six and seven. Go back again, look at our readings. And you can see we actually have our new measurements. So that survived a reboot. Now, come back here. Let's say I want to clear out what I've already I've I've read it, I've I've read it. So I want to type R. That's gonna clear everything out. I'll come back over here. And I'll type S. Start the measurement. Come back over here. And E to end it. S to start it. E, end it. And what you can see here is now you actually have the readings. Now you can see that we have two readings there. And the report right here on a web page. So, all sorts of cool stuff. Really super useful. The VI is pretty huge. It starts up here. And this is basically right here is the uh, is the TCP IP loop. So it pens on the read here. And then it queues up a command. And then the command dequeues here. Here's where we actually do the S1, 0, and R business. The E is actually handled up here. So the E actually stops the measurement and because of some of the program model of NI, of NI it has to be up in that that thr or that or uh, loop up there. So here you can see right here, this is where we're actually doing the um, creation of the, of the folder. We remove the old one, get the new results file set up. Then we move over here. This is the main acquire loop. So the read actually happens right here, this guy right here. And we scroll over a little bit more. And uh, here we're actually taking the data, reading, well, so we've, we've streamed the data out to a text file, right? Because there's not enough buffer on the, on, the, on the card that can actually take, you know, 20, 30 seconds, minutes, hours of data. So we actually take all that data, stream it to disk, and then we read it out and then do calculations on it. And we also, um, and then we pull that all up into our report format. So there you go. There's your battery simulator from Lenaro. Uh, we'll be hooking this up to Lava pretty soon and uh, everybody will get, uh, get to use it. So thanks for watching this longer video and uh, have a great, great night now. Bye-bye. <laughs>